Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs if that is the case. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So let's see. What is going on with Capricorn? Mid-April, what is the overall energy? Oh, we have three here. We have tribe, contemplation, and union. All right. So somebody's thinking a lot. Somebody's thinking a lot about a union, about a connection, about a coming together. I feel like um, whoever this person is, you and them, you feel like you belong to the same tribe. Like there's just something about this person that makes you feel at home or like there's just a sense of belongingness. Um, apparently this union might not be um, complete at the moment because there is a lot of thinking about it. Or maybe you are in union and there's a lot of just thinking a, a lot about it and something that is going on within the connection. Let's get into it and see what that's about. All right, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-April 2021. So for your energy, we have the Chariot, the Page of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. All right, so there's a lot of, I feel, movement on your end. Um, either you've moved physically or there's just movement in a certain direction. I feel like whatever this direction is, it is, it is new with that Page of Pentacles. I feel like you feel like you are quickly moving on a new path. Um, and it could, it, you know what, this definitely could be a, a commitment here. All right, so you might be moving quickly towards a commitment um, with this person that you feel like you belong in the same tribe. And for others of you, I feel like it's just something that is this, um, maybe, maybe it has something to do with learning. All right, it could be something, um, I just feel like it's like, like a big door kind of a thing opening for you. All right, so for some of you, it's going to be that relationship, and for others of you, I feel like it's going to be something different. But it, I, whatever it is, I feel like it is it is major. Like, it could even be a new path in a career, for example. Um, let's see for them. The Ten of Swords, the Moon, and the Empress. All right. Each of you have two major arcana here um, out of the three cards. This person's in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. I feel like, yeah, there's definitely either an ending or something is happening currently that is creating a lot of pain, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt when it comes to you. Let's see the near future. We have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Ooh, and a final message for you is the Fool. All right, Capricorn. Why is this person in so much pain? Again, the roles can be reversed. Um, I feel like somebody coming up in the near future is, is, there's a little bit of a sneakiness here. There's a little bit, but not necessarily in the bad way. I feel like it's more of maybe holding back, not really coming forward. Um, reluctantly leaving something behind maybe whatever it is I feel like there is a little bit of a challenge attached to that but then we also have the ten of cups which is showing me that ultimately things are headed 
towards happiness, all right? Um, I'm not sure if it's with this person or not. But this is a very good card to have here in the um, as the last one, especially in the near future. All right, and this message here for you is all about that new path that I'm talking about, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, moving towards the unknown, um, a new path here. So let's see. This new path could even be with this person, but I'm kind of doubting that by the looks of their energy. All right, so let me clarify the chariot. All right, the sun, the two of pentacles, and the knight of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of, so it's either a lot of quick movement or maybe even impatience. Um, however, I'm seeing it more of actual movement rather than impatience. And I feel like whatever this movement is, it is leading you towards something that is going to be very um, good for you. It's going to bring in a lot of happiness. It's, I feel like it's going to maybe shift things in a way where it's going to be different than they were before. Now, again, I do feel like it might feel like it's a lot on your plate or you might feel a little bit, um, I don't exactly want to say hesitant, but you, you might just not be sure if you can handle whatever the situation is. And again, could be a relationship. Um, but I feel like it is also attached though to something very happy, something very good for you. Let me see the Page of Pentacles. The King of Swords and the Unknown card. Yeah, we do have an Unknown card in this deck. Yeah, you know, you're taking those first steps. I feel like this is definitely opening up a new path for you. And I feel like you're very determined when it comes to this. But I do feel like there's a sense of mystery also. Like you don't know exactly where this might lead. You, you, there's certain things you still don't know about this path. But I see you still being determined to move in that direction. Let's see the Hierophant. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So again, a lot of movement here. You're moving towards something. Um, if you're cross-watching or if the roles are reversed and you feel like you're in this second person's energy and this is someone else that you're watching here for, um, this, this person could definitely be moving and heading your way. And I feel like it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Or this is you moving, like I said, in a new direction towards um, just some something that's big, something that you feel like you don't know how you'll be able to handle it. Um, but you're still, I still feel like you're excited about it though. Whatever this is, I feel like there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm. There's going to be a lot of learning and it's leading you also towards, you know, it's, it's where your heart is guiding you, basically. So oh, I hope you would know what that is. Let's see what's going on here with the other person because I feel like they're in a completely different type of a state here. Let's see the Ten of Swords. The Five of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so that's them. I'm, I'm almost getting the sense of them possibly feeling betrayed, um, feeling like you're the one sneaking away from them. You just kind of, maybe you are, maybe you're walking away from this connection, at least for the time being. Um, because I do feel like, you know, if this is the person that these um, first cards are referring to, you you feel like there's a tribe here. You you, you feel like you're you're connected in some way. Um, but I'm sure you would have your reasons. What I'm seeing here for now, this person is undergoing a lot of grief, a lot of pain. I feel like, you know, they're, they're trying to escape this 
they're working on escaping this, but I feel like it, they're having a hard time doing that. There's a lot of holding on to the past. There's a lot of grieving about the past. Let me see the moon. Could be dealing with the Pisces. For some of you. <laughs> the moon again, as I say that. Definitely let me know in the comments if you are. And the Wheel of Fortune. What is going on here? Um, major stuff here. This person is really going through a lot. Um, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of repressed emotions. I feel like there's a lot of doubts. And because of that, I feel like... I feel like it's this person, although it's not really showing up just yet, but I feel like it's this person that's doing the contemplating, mostly. They're thinking about how they can change things. So let me get one more here. The Queen of Pentacles. There you are. <laughs> Again. So yeah, definitely you are on their minds a lot. Um, there, there's a lot of fear when it comes to the connection with you. So it could be that something has happened and so they have a fear now of the connection or maybe they have a fear of approaching you. I feel like they also have a fear of moving away from you and I actually feel like they even have a fear of change or whether things will be able to change. There's just a lot of doubt here and a lot of um i just feel pessimism and right now like this person is just not having a good time <clears throat> i really hope it's not that it's not you in this energy um i don't feel like it like it's you i feel like this is i don't feel like this is capricorn let's see the empress person could even be feeling guilt. The Ace of Cups and the Star. I'm telling you, this person is like... They have a lot of feelings for you. There's a lot of emotions here. I don't know what has happened in the past. I don't know if those were apparent before. Maybe this is just something coming up now that they're realizing it. Now because you're off doing your own thing, moving towards something new here. Um, they're really wishing that they still had you in their life, big time here. I feel like they still have hope. They have hope, but they have a fear that there's no turning things back now. Let's see what's coming up. Let's see that Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups and Death. All right. This person I, I feel is, is still going to be like so immersed in what they're feeling now, in that fear and in that pain. I feel like they've lost you. Um, yeah, they're thinking about that union. There's a lot of thinking about whether this could be, but I feel like they're so overwhelmed by it. That it's, it's kind of like they're still choosing to, to try to avoid it. I feel like they're still kind of trying to sneak away from it, trying to sneak away from their own emotions, but that's kind of hard to do because I mean, they, they they still have these feelings for you and they still want this. They would still want a reconciliation, but I feel like they're kind of just giving up on that, that idea of it, but or at least trying to give up, but still holding on because you can't just get rid of your feelings like that. I mean, that connection is there. The bond is there, the, what they feel is there. Let me see the Nine of Wands. Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Oh. 
All right, there, I, I still feel like this is your person going through a challenging time. Um, I do see them gaining a little bit more clarity and being just at least a little bit more practical and a little bit more logical when it comes to what it is that is going on here, what it is that has happened, what it is that you know, you're know you doing and the reasons why you're doing what you're doing, all of that, all of that. And I feel like they're just kind of standing up and being able to just face that within themselves here. And it could be that for some of them, um, they might actually get some external help from someone. It might, maybe it's you, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's some other kind of a professional, uh, maybe some of them here, maybe they even have an addiction. I mean, I don't see that necessarily, but I, I mean, just seeing the emotional state that they're in, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you see the Ten of Cups because this is actually a very positive energy here to have as the last card in what seems like a not so positive reading for the other person. I see you being fine. Um, the world. Let me get one more. And the Seven of Cups. All right, yeah, you know, I feel like for the time being, at least, there is some kind of a some kind of a closure, some kind of a completion. I feel like, you know, if you were meant to learn certain things from this connection, I feel like you're definitely completing that. I feel like it's the same for this person, and that's what's leading to this Ten of Cups. But then we have the Seven of Cups here to show that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's with this person at at least at this point in time, it could be though, it could be though. But what I'm getting here is that the options are open. There are different options open. For some of you, it could be with this person. Um, for others of you, it's just a lot of options are opening up that are going to bring in that 10 of cups. And that might happen for your person as well, all right? This could be for the both of you, but just not necessarily together because I do see a completion of some sort for now, whatever it was meant to be for now. And then as that final message, we have the Fool, which does talk about a new beginning. So let's clarify that. Let's see, the Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. <laughs> yeah, so that's definitely you. Um, I feel like you're, you're standing strong here. With that Four of Pentacles, I see you as really holding on to what it is that you want, what it is that you're going after. You're like stubbornly <laughs> moving in this new direction towards that Hierophant, towards that whatever whatever this is for you, okay? Like I said, for some of you, it's going to be another commitment that you might not even see coming, all right? Because we do also have the unknown card. Like you might not even realize that that's where you're headed. And if that's the case, I mean, this person is coming in. It, really quickly, really quickly. And I feel like it's going to be something that you are going to feel a lot of relief um, for. And again, for others of you, this could be just a door that's opening up for you. It could be, um, you know, any kind of a foundation, a university, a career, anything a new way of, of life, whatever that is. So it actually looks pretty good for you um, coming up. And well, like I said, options are going to be open, whether with this person or with someone else. All right, Kathy, so let's see if this resonated. Let's get your final message. And please do give me a like if it did resonate. And we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I feel like you've already done that, um, but some of you might be in the process of that. Um, either way, take it as it makes sense for you. All right, guys, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.